Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Those of you who travel by air very often would have noticed that airlines normally use big turbojet aircraft for longer routes and smaller propeller aircraft for shorter routes. There's something very peculiar and different between these two types of aircraft. Well, it's their tail wings. Before we dive into the topic, it would be better if we learned a few aircraft terminologies. An airplane is normally divided into three separate parts during the manufacturing process. First is the fuselage. This is the hollow body where the passengers or cargo is carried. The second is the wings and the last is the empennage. The main role of the empennage is to give directional stability and control to the aircraft. So in this video, we will be exclusively talking about different types of empennage of aircraft. The main function of the empennage is to give directional stability to the aircraft. But different aircraft are made with different design parameters and different roles in mind. Because of this, the wings and the empennage design of the aircraft also changes. In reality, there are actually more than 10 different types of empennage designs that are used in aircraft all around the world. In this video, we will only be talking about the five most widely used empennage designs. The first one is the conventional empennage design. The conventional empennage designs are used in almost all commercial aircraft. In fact, 70% of the aircraft in the world are fitted with conventional tails. The main reason behind this is that they are easy to manufacture and also much easier to maintain. They are also lightweight when compared to other designs. However, there was a small problem with the conventional empennages. It was that they were extremely huge. Just take a look at the empennage of the Airbus A380. You'll notice that it is much taller than the entire fuselage. The next commonly used empennage design is the T-tail. The T-tails are most commonly used in small business jets and trijets. The main reason T-tails are used in trijets was to enable fuselage mounting of the engines. A good example of this is the Boeing 727. The T-tails are used in many small aircraft too. This was because smaller airplanes had smaller ground clearance. This prevented them from placing the engines below the wings. Because of this, they are moved to the aft of the fuselage. The next type of empennage design we'll be talking about is the edge tail design. The edge tail designs were mostly used in old piston engine aircraft and predominantly World War II era planes. The edge tail wings were used for a wide variety of reasons. The most common is because of an aerodynamic condition called the end plate effect. We can explain the end plate effect with the help of this illustration. Here you would have noticed that when air is flowing through the cut section of the wing, a small amount of it tends to spill sideways. This can be avoided by blocking the spillage with two end plates. Another reason why the edge tails were used in old piston engine aircraft is because of increased stability. By placing the rudders directly behind the airstream of the propellers, the aircraft was able to have much better stability in flight. This can be easily understood with these illustrations. If you notice, the rudders of the aircraft are placed directly behind the propellers. The next type of empennage design is the twin tail design. The twin tail design is mostly used in fighter planes and there are a few reasons behind it. The most common reason is the radar cross section. Just as we discussed a few minutes ago, aircraft needs to have really big vertical stabilizers or rudders to have good stability. But big rudders tend to have a big radar cross section. This can be eliminated by splitting one big rudder into two smaller separate ones. This reduces the size of the rudder and also the radar cross section. This also reduces the overall height of the aircraft. This is vital for carrier bound planes due to the very limited space that is available in aircraft carriers. Many carrier bound aircraft also have folding wings to accommodate space in the hangars. The next type of empennage design is the V-tail. The V-tails are also called as rudder waiters as they perform the work of both the elevators and the rudders. By moving the control surfaces as shown in the picture, the required yaw or pitch action is achieved. This empennage design is most commonly found in ultralight aircraft, drones, and fuselage mounted planes. They are used in UAVs and ultralights to reduce the total weight of the aircraft by reducing the number of components in them. Well, that's it for today's video guys. We'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye.